What is up guys? This is Fonzarelli Fellhand and this is Meet the Bear. Now before we get into this, let's discuss who won the Cromwell B giveaway and that is United Rat. If you guys will check the video on the Cromwell giveaway, I've pinned it to the top. His exact gamer tag, I don't know. There's lots and lots of numbers behind it. But anyway, that is the winner. He got the code. Congratulations. Now, on to this. We are in Runeberg. Now, guys, this little bad boy right here, I, I really have to say, this is as close to the 140 as far as being the holy trinity of having mobility, armor, and firepower that there can be. And as we all know, I consider the 140 the pinnacle of having all of those attributes. I feel this, tier for tier, is that. This thing is mobile, this thing has a good gun, spaced armor, as well as, you know, the regular armor, which is no joke. It is a Soviet tank. Really, I am just honestly surprised about the mobility because, you know what, when I got this tank, I had all my preconceived notions that, eh, you know, it's going to be slow and sluggish. No, it is really, really surprising. As you can see here, I'm just cruising around. Now, the aim time, of course, is that of your typical Soviet gun. It's not exactly blistering. If you're, you know, used to your your German crews, your German guns, what have you, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. But, you know, it is on par for the Soviet guns. Uh, moving on, uh, we're going to peek around here, finish that gentleman off. Amazing, amazing alpha on this bad boy. I enjoy playing this tank. I really do. I am excited about this premium tank for a change. Most of the premium tanks I enjoy and or I, I at least can can play and and you know like but I love this tank I really really do uh just I mean awesome it, it's awesome it's truly awesome I <laughs> I'm talking so much about this tank I just I cannot stand it I like playing this tank a lot and so you know expect to see some more games in this bad boy uh, we're going to try to put a shot right here in this gentleman. We aimed for the lower plate. just didn't really happen for us. But you know what? I kind of rushed the shot a little bit because I felt like soon I wouldn't have a lower plate shot at all. So I would much rather take one than, you know, than not. You know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, as Mrs. Fellhanded likes to remind me. So we ended up taking that. Didn't quite get it in the lower plate, but you know what? It's fine. We tracked him. We, uh, we got that little bit of assist right here. We're going to see if we can just pull up here right beside this gentleman to the right and put one right in. And we're going to aim it in. Blammo. There it is. Right in the side slash rear. More, more or less the rear slash side, I would suppose. And I'm just going to kind of back off just in case he starts to look in this direction. See if I can't put one in the side of him here. Uh, putting one, it looks like, through the top of the engine deck there. Never a good place to take rounds. And then we're going to see if we just can't go up here and maybe finish him off. Uh, the allies are running some good interference on me. Uh, looks like they ended up killing him before I got to him. But that's okay. You know what? We're just going to keep it moving and look for some, some more damage to stack. Pretty decent reload on this. And you know, guys, I don't have a astounding Soviet crew. I think my highest crew is... 10 perks or so and I don't have any equipment on this if you would put some equipment on this and a really decent crew uh, you know 15 20 perk skills you would have something quite magical now I am going up against a VK 100 uh, P oh, man these things are crunchy I mean they are the definition of crunchy that being said you know they're difficult to pin almost at any angle just because of the thickness of the armor uh, we did manage to put one in him. I decided to switch to APCR for the simple fact of VK100. I'm scoping him in right here. I'm going to try to put one in his booty. And it's just, I can tell you right now, it deviated, hit the side of his turret, and just did not happen for me. But you know what? These Soviet guns aren't necessarily made for all the long-range fighting. They're mid to short. Simply for the fact that, you know, the aim time isn't really an issue if you're super close. I'm not saying face hug, but super close. 2478, not bad for the first game. Guys, I really hope you enjoy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Check back later this week for a giveaway. Blech.